snow blowers, retard snow, and excessive speed. These are snow blowers Joey and Kyle, and they are trained to be in the 2008 Canadian Championships of Men's Freestyle Downhill Toboggan Races. This is a video of them training, and we hope it'll teach you a lot more about the sport of snow blowing and about the Paralympic side of it. Enjoy. This is Kyle. He has been snowblow racing for over 12 years, ever since he was a little tiny autistic child. He suffers from autism, but he loves to go fast. This is Kyle enjoying some of, enjoying his favorite sport of downhill snowblow racing. Kyle is probably the better of the two and is a lot, a lot better looking. Joy will argue on that, but don't listen to him. Please, just, just don't. This is Joey, and if you're wondering why the name is typed in so weird in uppercase and lowercase, it's because Joey typed it himself, because he was being stubborn about us spelling his name wrong, so we let him do it. Joey does not actually have a clinical problem, but he's a really big idiot, so they let him be in the Paralympic div division. Now you'll watch here, you can just see the cockiness showing, the big bofo idiot. This is his first run, we'll see how he does. Oh, I love watching retards get hurt. Let's see that one again. Here's the cockiness. The cockiness, oh, I love how cocky he is. And just wait, just wait for it. And, ooh. Uh, here's the second one, not much better. As you can see, Kyle is much better at snowblow racing and much better looking. The problem with Joey is that he's very easily frustrated, as you can see here. And that will conclude our documentary on snowblowers, the sports, and the idiots who do it. If you were wondering, in that upcoming thing they were training for, Kyle got first place and was extremely happy. As for Joey, well, he got a 132nd place participation ribbon, and he was quite happy with it until he choked. Um, the fact that he choked on it was quite sad, and he had to have it surgically removed from his anal passage. Here is a clip of the after party, and we hope that you have enjoyed this documentary and learned a lot. How about a round?